So are you new to Amazon and just starting out on PPC and trying to look at Amazon's downloadable search term reports for your pay-per-click advertising and super confused? Hey, this is Nick Hodge with Sellers Arena. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can quickly and easily clean up those search term reports within Amazon's PPC platform so you can easily see the data you need to see and so you can make better decisions with what to do with your pay-per-click advertising. If you're a beginner on Amazon, and especially if you don't have any experience with Google Sheets or Excel, these spreadsheets can be very intimidating and a lot of the data that Amazon's putting in here can you know, just be overwhelming. There can be a lot here. So I wanna show you how to clean up this search term report so you can look at the data and more easily and quickly make determinations about what you need to do with your campaigns. So just to start, one of the first things I like to do is I wanna come in here and go to view and I wanna to go to freeze and freeze the first row. So what this is gonna do is, so when we're looking down through the the campaigns this top row is not going to change so it seems like a really simple thing but this is huge man like if you're trying to look through your campaigns you forget where you are you forget if you're looking at the campaign name the group name if you're looking at the search terms or if you're looking at the keywords that you put in so you want to be able to easily look at that okay and of course when you're looking at all these different numbers it can really help you to understand you know what you're looking at as you're scrolling down and not forget if you're looking at the cost per click the spend the total sales you can even more easily get confused with just looking at numbers like this if you're trying to scroll down and you forget what which column you're in okay next thing we want to just remove unimportant data so we can look at more data all at once on the same screen especially if you have a smaller screen or you don't have split monitors things like that it can be a little bit more difficult so we want to take up as little space as we can with unimportant data so one of the first things i like to get rid of is the currency column so we can go and get rid of that and we can just hide column you don't have to completely get rid of it you can just hide it okay so if you wanted to bring it about back later for whatever reason it can depend on the portfolio we could go ahead and hide that in this case we know all our campaigns are in the same portfolio so we could go ahead and hide that one start and end date we could go ahead and get rid of those if we pretty much knew that already so again always bring it back later if we need to and hide those and now already we made it to where we can start to see which campaigns we're in which keywords but at the same time we can already see some actual data along with those without having to you know scroll left and right to kind of to see more data another thing we can do is simply resize these columns as needed and you know some of these are kind of a lot bigger than they need to be so again we can do things like this to shrink them down make it a lot easier to look at so we can look at more data all at once. All right, really bring this in. Another thing you can do is like, do we really need to see, you know, the point zero, 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 zero. Okay, so we could take, click on that whole entire column, remove that decimal point over, you know, it's a percent. So that's really all we need. And same thing with total advertising, cost of sales, bring that over. Leave a couple decimal places if you like. Just again to make it a lot easier to look at. Same thing here, row as we can go ahead and bring that over, all these over. Okay. Yeah, I'm move some of these decimal places if needed. Yeah, so you get the idea. So you can really shrink these down quite a bit. And especially if we're just trying to look at customer search terms, we could even reduce this even more. Like say we were just trying to look at customer search terms. We could always do that, okay? It's where we could just focus on that and that way it brings this more into the picture. And we could pretty much see almost everything if we were just looking at customer search terms here. All right, so you get the idea. Really nice. We're able to see pretty much every single metric for our search terms if that was the case where we were trying to make decisions about our search terms. Last thing, there's a lot more you can do with search term reports, but just the basics here go in and turn on filtering. So this is going to allow you to, of course, sort and be able to, you know, see you know, exactly what are your top sellers, what has the best A cost, what has the best click through rate. 
and so on and so forth. So one thing here is now that we've shrunk these columns down, it's made it a little bit more hard to see what the columns are, even though now we can see more data. The last thing we want to do here is we want to go up here and you're going to click on just this column and we're going to wrap the text. So once we do that, it does throw it a little out of hand because some of these have quite a bit of text in them. So we just need to do a little bit of adjusting here to make it make a little bit more sense. Okay. Like that. Okay. So just do it like that so it's not too crazy looking. So we can actually see complete words. Okay. And you get the idea. So we make it a little bit more manageable. Okay, so that way you can still see plenty of data, you can still see the columns, and yeah, now you can easily sort, see what's going on, see what the actual column is as you're scrolling down. If you wanted to look at, you know, what are your top ACOS or your worst ACOS keywords, for example, we wanted to sort by, you know, worst ACOS to see, you know, what we need to really work on, if we need to cut down bids on these, if we wanted to you know, sort by best ACOS, and see what we could really maybe scale up that has a good A cost. Say it has the great A cost, but it has, you know, very low traffic. Okay, so maybe we want to see if we can boost the traffic upon those to take advantage of the currently good A cost that it has. And of course we can look at sales. So we can see which keywords are our top sellers, which ones are really doing well for us, etc. And at the same time, which ones are maybe spending the most for us that are not returning and maybe look at cutting those out. So go ahead and try this out with your pay-per-click search term reports, especially if you're newer to Amazon and newer to Excel and Google Sheets, because even though you can see a lot of that data within Amazon Seller Central without downloading the reports, to get really granular and really see what's going on within your campaigns and find those winners and losers, you're going to have to learn how to use the search term reports. But yeah, until next time, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one.